It's Frankie from Frankie Tag. Good to see you guys again. And I'm here to share my best phones so far of 2021. Now beyond just the Xiaomi phones I've covered, I've also looked at a number of other brands from Samsung, OnePlus, Oppo, and more. Let's bring in all the other brands and talk about what are, in my opinion, the best phones so far this year. Let's have a look. So before we get started guys, let's address the elephant in the room here. There are a lot of Xiaomi phones that have been released in 2021. And there's no denying when we talk about the best phones so far in 2021, that a lot of these Xiaomi phones are represented. So in the case of the best budget phone, I still think that that Redmi Note 9 T 5G is the best option for you to consider. In the best mid-range segment, you know, when you look at what all the other competition has done, there's still no other phone that reaches to the level of this Redmi Note 10 Pro. And in the affordable flagship segment, I do believe that the Poco F3, despite having a number of other challengers from other companies like the Oppo Reno 5 Pro, which I really did love earlier this year, pound for pound, I still think this Poco F3 provides the most value in this affordable flagship segment. But when it comes to other brands, I think the one segment that has had the most activity has been in the flagship and ultra flagship segments. And there's no denying that while the Mi 11 Ultra is a terrific phone and the Mi 11 before it, we've seen some great competition from other manufacturers. And I wanna start here with the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now the OnePlus 9 Pro, if I could give an award for best software so far in 2021, this is the phone I would give it to. Because let me tell you, Oxygen OS is just one of those software experiences that is still, in my opinion, a step above of what you're getting on a MIUI device. Look, MIUI 12.5 is great, but there's something about the fluidity of an Oxygen OS that is just next level. And when you combine it with the hardware of this OnePlus 9 Pro, which to be honest, guys, I was not really a believer in when I first got it. And I did not really think this that big of an upgrade from the OnePlus 8 Pro. But over time, the OnePlus 9 Pro has moved into, for me, the third best position third best flagship that has been released so far this year. The cameras are great, the software experience is great, Now I wish they had done a little bit more for the colors this year, and overall it does feel like OnePlus is trying to pull a Samsung with this release. But there's no denying, once in day-to-day -day use, Oxygen OS just keeps you coming back, and that is why despite using the Mi 11 Ultra as my daily Android phone, I keep coming back to this OnePlus 9 Pro because of the software experience. And if you're looking for one of the best software experiences with excellent hardware and really solid cameras as well then this oneplus 9 pro in my opinion is the third best flagship that's been released this year and so you may ask if oneplus 9 pro is the third best flagship of the year then which is the second and i can reveal to you now that my second pick for the best flagship phone so far in 2021 is the samsung galaxy s21 ultra now when i picked up the s21 ultra i was in love with this device it was just an incredible piece of hardware with a giant camera module that in the renders originally i did not like but once i held this phone in person it just looked so much better and with that deep black color variant the phone is and still continues to be one of the best camera champs on the market but you may be asking frankie tech why isn't the s21 ultra here then if you're naming it the second best flagship of the year well a big reason is due to cost that phone guys is not cheap and at the time of review i did hope the s21 ultra would be a little bit more successful here on the channel and at the same time guys carrying around a 10,000 hong kong dollar phone in my pocket alongside all the other phone purchases i needed to make I had no choice but to sell off the S21 Ultra, and I will tell you right now, I regret doing that. The S21 Ultra 5G is just an incredible device from the design, the display, the absolutely phenomenal camera performance, and yes, it was an expensive phone, but I'll be honest guys, I wish I'd held onto it a little bit longer. Now I know a lot of you guys aren't really fans of Samsung here on the channel, but I do plan to review some more Samsung devices, so stay tuned for that. But if you were looking for the best Samsung flagship of the year, look no further than that S21 Ultra 5G. But before we get to number one, just want to shout out some honorable mentions of the other brand phones that I've covered here on the channel, like the Red Magic 6 Pro, that was a solid gaming beast, and honestly, if it wasn't for the software, I think it would be the top pick for best gaming phone 
of 2021. To phones like the Oppo Reno 5 Pro, like I mentioned, which was a really stunning device, and I would probably give it the award for the most beautiful design of a phone I've tested so far this year. And if you remember back to early on this year, I reviewed the Vivo IQ7, and that was an amazing phone. And I do think now with Origin OS, that Vivo is going to continue producing terrific devices. And of course, there's a lot of year to go, so I'm definitely excited about the Pixel 6, 6XL releases. I'm excited to see what Samsung does in the fall as well. And of course, let's just mention it, iPhone 13. I'm excited personally for that one as well. But now we go to it, and I think you know where this is going the number one flagship phone, and in my opinion, the best phone released so far this year, just from a sheer hardware perspective, is none other than the Mi 11 Ultra. Now guys, this phone has almost become a bit of a party trick. Everywhere I go, everyone I speak with, I show them this rear display, and it just knocks their socks off. They can't believe that one, this phone has a rear display, but that two, you can use it to take photos. But the even better news, guys, is that we've seen a recent report that this rear display will be enabled very soon for vlog mode, which means you'll be able to take video and use the rear display as a viewfinder when you do. But what more do you need to know about this phone from the gorgeous ceramic design? Yes, it is a heavy beast at 230 plus grams, but the 120 hertz, 10 bit AMOLED display, terrific performance, solid battery life, and let's face it, a triple camera setup that is only rivaled by the S21 Ultra. It's not a perfect device and definitely am waiting for MIUI 12.5 to get on this phone, but if you wanted to go for broke and just get, in my opinion, the best device from a hardware perspective released so far in 2021, look no further than the Mi 11 Ultra. But hit me up in the comments. What is your top pick for best phone so far of 2021? And do you think a phone like the Redmi Note 10 Pro can stand out to the entire industry as probably the best value phone or the best overall pick for your money? Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. So a long year to go, guys. I can't wait to see all the other devices that are coming. And I do think this second half of the year is going to be far more weighted to other brands and the experience they are providing. I think Xiaomi, you've had a great first half of the year, but it's time to check out some more great stuff from other companies as well. So that's it. And this is where I leave you by saying... This is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. It's the champ, guys. It's the champ.